there is a projection in this world that you might call the world. There is a projection in this world that you might call the world. We are projecting, right? We all understand that. We are projecting. The and and the projection is you could say a program because the projection is a variation of uh, within a set of endless possibilities of other projections. Any projection that we have could be another projection. So it means that the projection is a program or it is created by a program. And here comes the thing. There is a mechanism for interpretation, which is an algorithm. It's an algorithmic program embedded deep inside us. The mechanism for interpretation, or let's use the word program, the program for interpretation, the the specific program of interpretation that lies as a machine, as an uh, as a production entity, as a machine, as a true, real algorithm inside us. That is what is producing our projections, mostly. Of course, a projection is also a result of our mind abilities, which means perception, you know, perception and consciousness. Without perception and consciousness, we cannot make a projection. We understand that, right? In order to have a projection, in order to produce the world as a projection, you need mind and consciousness. So, we understand that. But what is it that decides what kind of a projection that we have? What is it that decides which kind of projection that we produce through our own mental program and through the hidden interpretation machine that lies deeply within us, that lies embedded in our inner projection machine, so to speak. Because the projection of the world that we make, or the interpretation or the projection of the world, doesn't come automatically just because of perception and consciousness. Uh, I mean, it doesn't come only because of the physical faculties that is able to produce a projection. Uh, the projection also comes simply because there's the drive for producing a production, pro projection, and the drive for producing a projection comes basically from that little machine, that little entity inside the projection machine that is coded with, inter with a certain interpretation. And that comes from our childhood, perhaps even before our, our childhood. It, it's a part of the reptile brain, perhaps. I mean, let's say it like this, a part of that which is the interpretation machine inside of us, a part of that deeply hidden program that we basically cannot change, a part of that program comes from our million years old reptile brain, you know, and a part of that comes from our own experiences in life. There's, what I'm saying here is that there's something about our interpretation machine that we simply cannot change. It's, it's too basic, it's too much a part of the reptile part of the brain. It's too much embedded in our mind-brain program. I think that I've been fighting with this <laughs> interpretation machine many times and I think also that meditation and meditation practices is a way of liberating ourselves from the grip of this interpretation machine or liberating ourselves from that interpretation machine which lies deeply within us at the platform of the projection machine so to speak that in us which decides what kind of projections that we make. 
the th that in us which decide what kind of projections that we produce. You know, it's of course that is a result of our physical capabilities of that which is needed to make a projection. The things that are needed for constituting or, or producing a projection are, of course, mind, perception, consciousness, right? But also, uh, there must be a drive somewhere, a driver somewhere. There must be a projection machine. There must be something that is actually actively producing projections. And that is in the extension of the underlying interpretation machine. And the interpretation machine inside the human being is the basis of the human program. The interpretation machine is the basis of the human program and it decides completely without fault without fault, how we see and view the world. There is no fault about this. It is always true to say that this is the case. It, without exception, it is always true that this program controls the way that we view the world. So you could say that the human program is built on the framework of the interpretation machine, which lies at the core of the projection machine. <laughs> really. I mean, the human program is the entirety of our faculties, right? The human program is the entirety of our faculties. The human program is the entirety, the totality, so it means mind, perception, consciousness feelings, emotions, our ability to receive, perceive, project, think, interpret, feel, anything. It's our, it's the totality of our receiving senses, you know, it's the totality of that which makes us alive, so to speak, as an organism, as an entity, as a perception machine in this world, because in many, many ways we are a perception machine. But this talk is about projections. So, in order to project, of course, we, ha we have to have perception, the ability for perception. But that which drives, that which produces our projections comes from a root cause, and that root cause is the interpretation program that decides everything about how we view the world. And that is without fault. It really is from the reptile brain. The way we see the world, the way we view the world, the way that our optical nerves see the world, the way that our whole system of perception, neural, everything about our finer neurology, in, our, in the neurocircuitry that constitutes the perception machine inside of us. All of these things are there to make our DNA, so to speak, to survive, to make us survive, to make us survive in the world. So that is, we are a little bit over-equipped overly equipped uh, for survival we are more than we are more than uh, necessary equipped we have more faculties than we actually need and that's why we are thinking a lot and that's why we're <laughs> destroying the world as well but this is the point the way that you see the world, the way that you project, the way that you imagine things to be, the way that you project, because imagination is a way, is a part of projection, the way that you imagine things to be and the way that you see the world and see yourself within the world comes from something deeply inside of you. And that thing deeply inside of you is a part of that which we could call the interpretation machine. 
that lies inside the projection machine, which is the drive for producing projections within the human program that we have at our disposal. You know, we have all these abilities, we have all these capabilities, we have all these faculties. And with these faculties we are producing projections, and we are receiving perceptions, and we are constituting interpretations. We are creating uh, and constituting, we are constituting projections that are actually, in some sense, actively created by a hidden mechanism inside ourselves, which is not us. It comes from a deep part of the brain system. It comes from the interpretation machine. We don't have access to that. It's kind of a hidden amygdala in the midbrain. It's not in the amygdala. It's not in the amygdala part of the brain. In the brainstem limbic system, it's and the interpretation machine is another kind of amygdala, so to speak. And by that, I mean, of course, a hidden part of our brain that we simply cannot access and we cannot communicate with it. We cannot access it. We cannot communicate with it. We 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 we're simply a, a result of that which which the amygdala produces. We are simply a result of that which the reptile brain is producing inside of us. But we don't know that because we think that we are active, actively projecting the world as we think it should be, or, or from our own free will. But it seems to be the case that actually our own projections is coming not only from ourselves but from the deeply hidden machine inside of us that we cannot see and that we cannot access the part of us that we could call the reptile brain the million years 10 million 100 let's say 50 million years old brain that has slowly developed and embedded it inside itself an interpretation machine that we cannot access. It's just a basic framework for things to appear in. And we modify our views of the world within this parameter, within this within this basic framework. So that was a little bit talking about that which is producing our projections and what it is that is lying behind that which is producing our projections. All right, that was a good way of saying it. This was a talk of visualizing or, or, or trying to convey aspects of our machinery that lies behind the way that we constitute and produce projections by the interpretation machines that lies as a core part of that which is driving and creating the human program and the way that the human program operates in this world because the human program is that in which we experience the world we are given the human program as a place so to speak to experience the world we are experiencing the world through the arena through the platform of the human program and this human program is constituted by parts that we don't see and that we don't know anything about in our daily life. But we can imagine that there is something that is controlling the way that we experience our own life. And that is something that is simply must be... Uh, <clears throat> ancient part of our system, you know, of the brain system. And that is, that is that which is producing the results of the projection machine. That is that which is directing the way and controlling the way that our projections are produced. It lies deeply within our system. The interpretation machine that lies within the projection machine that is operating inside the arena of perception and consciousness that is produced and delivered by the human program. Amen. 
That was the little talk about our system. Okay, thank you.